Right now, I have three solutions. One is hypotonic, one is isotonic, and one is hypertonic. So you already know, the greater the particles, the greater the tonicity, the greater the osmotic pressure, and the greater the pulling power. So if we're going to look at the first solution, we already know that the first solution has few number of particles. So fewer particles, hypoparticle. Hypoparticle, hypotonic. Hypotonic, hypoosmotic. Hypoosmotic, weak pulling power. So what does a hypotonic solution do? Does it get water or give water? It gives water. In the middle, we're looking at the isotonic. So enough particles, isoparticle. An isoparticle, isotonic solution. And an isotonic solution, isosmotic. No pulling, no pushing water. So it's just neutral. So does it give water? Yes, but not to the extent that it's going to give too much. So it just increases fluid. Now, if we're going to look at the last solution, we're seeing that relative to the first two solutions, it has a higher number of particles. And the higher the particle, the higher the tonicity, hypertonic. And hypertonic means hyperosmotic. And hyperosmotic means hyperpulling power. And hyperpulling uh, power means that it gets water instead of giving water. It magnetizes water, it pulls water, it gets water. So something is going to happen to the cell. Let's go back to the hypotonic solution. Since the hypotonic solution has a weak pulling power, it gives water. So what is the effect if you give a hypotonic solution? What will happen to the cell? Shrink or swell? Naturally, a hypotonic solution leads to the swelling of the cell. What about the isotonic solution? The isotonic solution is there to increase the fluid. But it doesn't come to a point that it's going to swell the cell. It's just going to hydrate the cell, perhaps. Now let's look at the last one, the hypertonic solution. The hypertonic solution gets water, pulls water, attracts water, magnetizes water. So we already know. What is the effect if you give a hypertonic solution? The cell will swell or shrink. Obviously, the cell will shrink. Now, how do we classify solutions? How do we know that this is hypertonic, isotonic, hypotonic? Well, let's review first. What do particles do? Push water or pull water? Particles pull water. What do you call the power of particles to pull water? It begins with letter O. What do we call that pressure? Osmotic pressure. And where will water go? Area of greater or lesser particles? It always goes to the area of greater particles. And where do we classify the following? W, D5, W, D10, W, LR, D5, LR, NS, D5, NS, 0.9% sodium chloride, 0.45% sodium chloride. Where do we classify these solutions? Well, the answers to those questions, we're going to give it in the next video clip.